What's up, strongest men, women, and children from blocks all around the world? I am my block strongest man, and today I come to you with a little bit of a different video. We're not talking strong men today. We're talking about a revelation I recently had with one of the pieces of equipment that I use to make my content, and that is my webcam, which I'm using right now to make this particular video. So I did some research back in January of this year, 2021, to find the best webcam I could use to make my content at a reasonable price. And back then it was 200 and some odd dollars. Today, as you can see on my screen, it's 169.99. It has come down quite a bit. And it is the Aver Media Live Streamer PW513. So this will not be a full review of the camera or anything like that. There are people online that are way better at it than I am. I would recommend you going over to Alpha Gaming. I will include his link to his discussion about this camera in the description below. Uh, Alpha Gaming just does so many great videos on so many technology topics, many of which are about webcams and many of which are really detailed reviews, again, from a much smarter guy than I am in this particular area. So I will uh, link to that below. But today I just wanted to quickly talk about uh, what I encountered. So the camera quality was great when it worked, but it would freeze very often. And so I did my research online and figured out that uh, it could be caused by setting priorities so that my OBS software that I was using to create my videos, which I'm using right now, uh, you can prioritize it to take more of the CPU and RAM resources from your computer. So if you have other software open, it's not taking away and causing the crashes. And I tried all of those tweaks. I tried uh, changing all the settings in OBS to a lower resolution and lower bit rates and all that stuff. And they were all temporary fixes. They would work for the day it would freeze again, I'd have to restart my computer, it would work for a half a day and freeze again. And so now we're in August of 2021, so seven months later, I finally found the solution. So if you have the Aver Media PW513 live streamer, and so if you have the Aver Media live streamer cam PW513, and you want the solution for freezing, this is it. My particular laptop is a Dell XPS 15. It doesn't come with USB-A traditional ports like older computers used to. They're all the tiny USB-Cs that you would typically find on a mobile phone or a cell phone. And so what I had to do was get adapters to transform the USB-C ports into USB-A so I could plug in my, you know, my Blue Yeti mic and uh, headsets and the Avermedia webcam that we're talking about today. So then, just to give you a little bit of a visual, here's what the camera looks like on top of my computer. It is kind of big, but big because the sensor is big and it takes better video that way. And if we kind of work our way through, here's a little bit of a, a zoom in. What I like about this camera as well is that it has the cover, the, the flip down cover, so for privacy. It has a built in mic, but I don't use that. I use an actual dedicated Blue Yeti mic. And then some other things I wanted to show you. So here was my setup. As you can see, the setup I have right now, the corrected setup, the solution, is to have this adapter where I have one USB-C port adapting into three USB-A ports, and I don't use that for the camera, and here's why. They are, you may be able to see that there, they are labeled as being USB 3.0, so the adapter's 3.0, but you need to plug it into a port that's 3.0. And this particular computer, and maybe yours as well, doesn't label them on the outside to tell you which is which. So I believe that all along I had been plugging in this adapter into a port that was not USB 3.0. And again, the Avermedia PW513 requires a 3.0 USB port to work flawlessly like it is right now. It hasn't frozen once since we've been doing this video so far. So what I ended up doing as well as, as that, as I said, let's take an adapter that's dedicated just to the camera. And that's the one that says Dell right here in the picture. Uh, as you see, that goes into its own port and I have only one USB-A cable plugged into that and that is for my Avermedia PW513. Everything else, like my microphone, sometimes I plug in a wireless mouse and keyboard here. They all go into the three into one adapter and that's all for the other stuff. The camera gets its own port and again, in your computer, you may have to experiment around to see which port is the 3.0 because on mine, again, they're not labeled. And so I ended up figuring out that this port, the one closer to me, is the 3.0 port. So if I plug in an adapter that's handling just the webcam into the port that by trial and error, I figured out to be the 3.0 USB port, it works flawlessly, no problem. 
I plug in my adapter for everything else into the other port. And then um, here's a little kind of a different angle on it so you can see them going in sideways there. And then going some more, this is the, the original angle as well. And then you can see on the other side, there's a third USB-C port. As you can see, again, no label anywhere. And that's the one I use for my power cable. So I have all of my peripherals on the left side of the computer, making sure that the port closest to me, which I've by trial and error figured out to be the USB 3.0 port, is the one that's powering my Avermedia PW513 webcam, and everything else goes into the other port, and then my power, again, goes on the other side of the computer. So there you have it. If you're having Avermedia 4K PW513 webcam freezing issues and nothing else you've tried works, try doing a trial and error of plugging it into various ports on your computer, whether you need an adapter or not, to transform them into USB-A to figure out the one that's USB 3.0. So that's the solution to the Avermedia PW513 freezing problem. The solution is use a USB 3.0 port. I hope you found this interesting. I hope you share this with everybody you know who's been having a similar problem as this. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do that, and uh, we'll see you again for some more detailed information. And of course, as always, until next time, ciao, homie.